And so, you know, we're going to get Jim Foreman, you know, going by the Skycomish or the Swinomish or the Skokomish. Basically, if the Indians named it and it ends in ish, don't build there, right? <laughs> and it's always the same. You see, Foreman looks like he's coming down from some bender and he's like, you know, slogging through the water. Gene and Dennis, I'm almost here. And he's just puffy and like freaked out. And <laughs> You wonder where he's been, and he, but now he's here and there, like with those people with all their possessions floating by, you know, and they're like, we never thought this would happen, even though it happened last year, and the year before that, and the year before that, and so. We're in two, 206 here, Magnolia, it starts to rain, they slide down in 206, you know, they've got that area code, we've got, Mercer Island has its own area code, it's unlisted, we don't know what it is. <laughs> The Tacoma Hilltop area, 911, which is very convenient. And then Capitol Hill, pound 69, which also works. It's a good one to tell to city light workers, then you just feel the hiss, the wind. Anyway, um, I want to tell you a true story uh, that happened to me because it's really fun for me to tell this story because I like to humiliate my children. Uh, but uh, I have a lot of boys. And uh, when you have a lot of boys, you get all the other boys, you know, when you have a neighbor, you get, you get, you know, one or two boys, and then you have another one, you just screw up the contraception, and you, 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 you know, and, and, you know, you reach sort of a combination that you realize that's what you make is boys, you know, there's like another boy, and then you're just having another boy, and then pretty soon all the other people in the neighborhood that are male show up at your house because there's all the boys there, and they, all the other parents say, yeah, go there and just ruin, because... That house is already ruined. <laughs> but, you know, just how women got into athletics, and it's great. And boys, th this generation of boys has been taught how to, uh, how to cook and how to do all, you know, home economic stuff. And so they cook, they bake and stuff. And they're all now these great big 18, 21, you know, these huge, you know, guys. And they're like, when we go to the store, they ask to bring back cake mix. And I know they're putting shit in. I mean, I, I'm not dumb enough to know that, you know, they're what, the, I know what they're putting in, but the point is, <laughs> they like to bake things and then eat them. And so, a little while ago, I'm going to the store, to the ones I go to all the time, and they're like, hey, you're going to the store, and this is not, you know, one of my own children, this is one of the boys that just lives with me. Which they just, you know, they're there. I sometimes will get calls like, can I talk to Lee? I go, well, Lee's not here. And, oh, where is he? And this is a parent calling. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where your son is. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, good job. Just, whoa, go off this way. Anyway, uh, then I'm heading to the store, and there's like, hey, are you going to the store? Bring back a cake mix. I know the best kind. It's Eddie Bauer cake mix. This is what one of the boys says to me. I mean, and... If this was 30 years ago, I'd go, no, you moron. Because that's the way, that's the positive engagement I like to have. With my what are you, idiot? You know, and so, but you know how branding has gotten really weird? There's like Nike watches, Nike shoes, Nike paint. Nike. There's Eddie Bauer clothes, car. Well, it used to be, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm thinking, okay, Eddie Bauer cake mix, fine. So I go to the QFC that I'm going to you know, forever, and I go down to the cake mix aisle, and uh, I don't see Eddie Bauer. <laughs> so I actually call the guy over and I'm like, do you guys have Eddie Bauer? <laughs> he gets on the thing, like, oh, uh, Lord, do we stock Eddie Bauer cake mix? And that gets everybody in the store like, what the <laughs> Uh, no, we don't. And then, like, oh. So I come home and I'm like, well, they didn't have Eddie Bauer, so I got Betty Crocker. Oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. That's what I meant. So, from now on, in addition to everything else, I'm the Eddie Bauer guy at the QFC. Hey, there's the Eddie Bauer guy. Anyway, that's a little slice of my life. I uh, want to thank you guys for coming out and supporting Sketchback. <laughs>